What is good, YouTube? I hope everybody's staying focused out there. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Juice Box Jigga. I am Jigga, and today we are on the Arctic White Big Ripper 29. Yes, of course, it's a 29. Uh, the Arctic White, I think, is still my favorite colorway out of all the Big Rippers to be released, even out of the 2021s. It's, it's just too clean. Today, we are going to be doing the opposite of the last video I made. I previously made a top five things that I love about SE, and today we are going to be doing the top five things I dislike about SE. And to be honest with you, it was pretty hard to make this list. I couldn't even say a top five things I hate about SE because that's a strong word. I'll go with the dislike because it was, like I said, it was kind of hard to make a full five things on this list. And to be honest with you, some of these things I could have completely left out of this list in total. Couldn't, didn't even have to be on there, but I think I got a good point when it comes to it. So let's get this list going. We're gonna go on a nice ride today. I'm gonna break a little bit of rules on this little trail we're taking, but it's okay. It's nice out here. Look at that. Ah! I don't know, I shouldn't have scared him. That was kind of mean. Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the 20th Joy of Painting series. Son of a gun, it's hard for me to believe this is a 20th series, but it, it is, and I'd like to thank you very much for inviting me back for another series of paintings. I hope there's not too much road noise out here. Starting the list off at number five is a thing that I mentioned in the other video, I touched on it a little bit, is how much people complain about how difficult it is to get their hands on these bikes. I'm not saying these bikes are easy to get a hold of, but at the same time, they're really definitely not that hard to. They're really not that hard to get a hold to either. I guess I just say that because I'm used to like buying Jordans and whatnot. Used to being in the Jordan game. And I used to have to do your homework. If you really wanted a pair of shoes, you had to be ready for that shit. And now I just use that same skills and brought it to the SE. So when these bikes come out, I do my studies. I hit up all the, the dealers and try to get my hands on these bikes. Oh, look at these ducks. You got something going on. What's up? Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get through here. So yeah, if you really want these bikes, it's possible. You just gotta go to the SC website, go to find a dealer, and just call literally every single dealer that is listed on there. It doesn't have to be in your area. Just get on that website and just start clicking until you can find a dealer that accepts, um, what's it called, deposits on bikes, early deposits. Throw your money down when you can and just wait. It's possible. You can get any bike if you just try your hardest. You can do it. And number four on this list, and oh, you've heard me complain about it before. And it's not SC's fault directly because other companies I've had problems with this too. And it is the cranks that come on this bike. Uh, the cranks on all of my rippers, actually, besides this one, have started cracking. I've heard a couple of cracks and pops out of this one like once or twice. Well, that's about it. All my other ones have pretty much fallen apart almost. But like I said, it's not just SE, it's other bikes too. Because my throne literally lasted only about two rides i'm not even playing i put maybe 10 miles on that thing and those cranks completely came apart same thing happened on my sundays i had a sunday 24 inch model c same thing happened on that even worse out of all the bikes that one actually i went on a ride out in houston let my friend borrow that bike and just got stranded so i don't know what's up with cranks i don't know why companies 
just can't have them ready to go out the box it's, it seems like no matter what company you buy, bike what companies bike you buy you have to take apart dismount the cranks and grease them and just make sure they're ready to go you have to do that yourself and it's just not okay and i kind of feel bad because i called sc all, on that in a couple of videos but it seems that's just a, a a round thing all across the board but let me get out of here let me start till we get to the next spot to do this this next one it's too windy i feel like get one wheelie in real quick ah, those are trash ignore those we'll cut those out we'll hit a jump though Man, it's fun riding around on these hills. Just gotta avoid the mud. All right, I think the wind's died down enough. So, number three on the list. If this was one of the ones that I could have left out, it's kind of nitpicky. It's just how much people complain about the, the market of these bikes and complain about the flippers. I don't know why they get so worked up about people reselling the bike. I understand where they're coming from it's just why put so much energy to getting mad about these people making money just let it go it's like that with everything in the market it's like that with gas it's like that with children's toys it's like that with christmas lights number two coming in on the list of the top five things i dislike about sc we're getting towards to the bottom now number two is why don't they sell just the frames of these bikes they should just have on the website, I don't care what color it comes in, it could just be matte chrome, just a brush finish, doesn't even have to be painted. They need to just be selling the frames and forks of these bikes. Half the people buy these bikes anyways, tear them down, shit, even sandblast them and powder coat them and just customize them anyway. Why charge us for all this extra stuff when half the time we're not gonna even use it? We're gonna upgrade the parts, the cranks and all that stuff anyways. Just sell us the frame, SC. Just give us the frame because you know it's just what we want. We want to customize these bikes and do what we do to them. We don't want to ride stock and we don't want to pay for the parts we're not going to use. So that's number two. I'm trying to learn how to do the damn manual on the pegs and I just can't figure it out at all. It's so hard. I instantly go to the side. And after I do one foot or two foot on the pegs, instantly go to the side. I can't figure it out barely figured the wheelie out by itself okay number one coming in on the list is the shipping and how they ship and handle these bikes to the customer or to the bmx shop or whatever it is i've heard multiple people complain about this including myself about receiving damaged bikes where being the paint chips i've had the spokes all bent up on my purple rain just came crunched in on the box that's how it arrived um, to my forks where it ties in at the wheels the bottom of my forks being crunched up and bent up i've seen other worse pictures of people's bikes coming with the forks completely bent it's like um people always call out todd lines and he never seems to get back to them on this subject it's just why not put more padding on your bikes especially on the limited edition ones you only make so many of them go ahead and just go up and double up on the padding we don't want to receive damaged goods we pay and we love these bikes so much and to have them already damaged before we can even lay our hands on them is very frustrating um so that's the list guys that's the top five things i dislike about se hopefully i can get some good wheelies in on these motherfuckers on this thing today but how's it going hi Everybody stares so goddamn much. Shit. All right, we gonna get a little dirty. Hopefully it's not too muddy. I already know I'm probably gonna regret this. Oh, oh. Yeah, guys, but I don't mean to make no bad equations on SC. SE is killing the game, bro. They really are killing it. There's a reason why everybody is buying their bikes. How nice would it be to be taught lines? To know that every bike you make is going to be sold. It's not a matter of if. It's just when. Who are we getting the Arctic white? Arctic brown. It's going to be dirty. It just rained. So 
I'm gonna go a little slow. And after buying that Throne Goon, I would really like to try GT bikes out, man, because they're up there. I need to try a Haro as well. But I think possibly I'll be getting the GT soon just to check them out. I like those Pro Performers with the white wheels, the blue ones. Those things are alive. I bet there's snakes all in this shit. I ain't been back here on the bike. Oh. Me. Nice and muddy. Nice and muddy. Oh, too muddy, too muddy. And I'm not going to even bother going that direction because I know it is good up. Wheels are spinning. Oh no, I gotta get in the grass. I didn't want to put my foot down. Well, I had to, I was spinning my back tire. I don't want to be flinging that much mud. Oh man, this is awful. Times like this is when I wish I had that fast ripper boy. Ooh. I can't wait till I get my hands on one. I do have one in pre-order, but I don't think it's coming until next year, the 2022. Shut up. Oh my goodness. I'm ruining my audio. Got mud and grass. my bike but all right guys not too many wheelies today but i definitely got you on some good trail action thank you for watching and joining in as always there will be some more footage coming soon i would really appreciate y'all to hit that like and subscribe button thank y'all y'all be safe out there wheels up